All right. Welcome, pen pals. This is Tom with Gold Spot Pens, and we are here with yet another live unboxing. Today's unboxing we have in this gray box here. We also have a box here that will kind of give you a hint as to what's going to be inside. But today we are talking about the Monte Grappa Mini Mule. So it's the Mini Me version of the standard size Monte Grappa Mule that I have in this box right over here. Now for purposes of this unboxing, just to give you a little disclaimer, we uh, removed the, there's a bag that goes over the pen and also a, uh, a, a desiccant, which is the little silica gel little packet. And just took it out, just, you know, just so it would look nice and impressive when I open everything up here. But that's what you would expect because when it comes to these sorts of finishes of pens, you want them to be as uh, clean and as unfingerprinted as possible. So, uh, you know, that's what uh, Monte Grappa goes through to ensure that when you receive it in the box, it's impressive to start off with, which they are. So, as you can see right off the bat, the mini mule is kind of like the mini me of the mule, the Fortuna mule. So when I unbox it here, i uh, just tell you a little bit about this uh, Monte Grappa box. It is a slightly different box than the regular edition of the mule. So with this, it's kind of like a little bit more austere. It has like a paper cardboard uh, construction that has a magnetic flap closure. And on the inside here, we have two Monte Grappa standard international size ink cartridges, the pen, of course, in a platform that you could raise up here. We'll put this to the side for right now. And here we have a little bit of a, uh, a note from Monte Grappa in regards to the mule's copper construction and to kind of tell you that, hey, after a while with you using it uh, with, with just the natural properties of copper, it will end up tarnishing, but hey, you get also a, not only a warranty manual, but you also get a polishing cloth right here too. So you could polish that up, get rid of the fingerprints, get rid of the tarnish marks, anything that uh, may come onto that brilliant, reflective, polished finish there. So, and then of course you have your instructional guide plus warranty in multiple languages and whatnot, but that's uh that's all good stuff to know to keep in your box. We'll put the pen platform back on there. And uh we'll talk about the pen. So this is the Monte Grappa Mini Mule. Looks exactly like the regular size mule, but it's a little bit slimmer, a little bit shorter, and definitely lighter. So we'll go into some of the details of that. We'll actually compare it, uh, but I just wanted to talk about the actual design of the pen. It is made from polished copper. So you can see on the, the cap and the barrel, we have, have all polished copper. Then we have steel cap band and clip. There's a wheel clip there. So you see the little wheel will help kind of slide the pen on and off your pocket. The section is also made of steel. It's kind of like a brushed, a, a very, very lightly brushed material. It has a nice effect when it hits the light, similarly to how the clip and the cap band is. In the inside of the cap, we have a plastic inner lining, and that's to help prevent from when you have metal against metal, and especially you have screw threads on there, you don't want to be scratching things all over the place, especially if you post the cap on the back. Uh, the plastic and the inner cap helps it so that it doesn't tarnish or scratch the back end of the barrel there. So with the steel accents that we have, but it, it really does give you that striking impression of polished copper. It even has that copper penny smell. It, you know, you, you don't really get that right now because you're not seeing, you're not smelling it, but when you actually smell that, that this copper actually smells like, you know, really, you know, not extremely fragrant copper, but Hey, it, it just, you know, it just smells like the real deal, like this is the real material that they're using, which it is. So, um, but one of the things that comes out of it is that, hey, this is polished. It also is a fingerprint magnet. So like any little fingerprints that I put on this thing, it's definitely going to be noticeable. And uh, and it may bother some who see that and they, they see something pristine, they see a big old greasy fingerprint on it. And that's your fingerprint, but hey, but you know, 
it's it's not appealing. But that's the whole aesthetic of this pen is is what they call the wabi sabi effect, which is the aesthetic principle um, that accepts the um, you know the beauty of something that is imperfect or that is impermanent. So um, over time, the the material will end up tarnishing, um, and it will kind of accommodate itself to the way that you've been holding it. So like you'll see the parts that you hold it the most will be the parts that will end up kind of getting some like tarnishing and everything. But like I said, you could go in and, and use the polishing cloth, the silver, uh, also like a, a, a polishing compound to polish it up and pretty much make it look brand new. That's the same common theme with a lot of the solid copper pens. One of the other things that's um, beneficial about this pen is the antimicrobial properties which are natural to the element of copper. So what do I mean by that is let's say uh, Frank, unknowingly Frank takes your pen while you're away at your desk. Frank has the really nastiest cold right now. He's coughing, he's hacking up a lung, he's, you know, he's not, he's not washing his hands properly, but he touched your pen. He touched your pen right here on the, the copper part. What copper does is that it's a it's a septic environment for uh, any sorts of bacteria and microbes. So naturally, just out of the fact that it will just be on the surface for a while, it will kill the bacteria. So that let's say if you came back from your meeting and your pen was laying on your desk, it very well may be that those germs that Frank left behind will be dead. So that you won't be trans, you know, you won't be receiving his nasty cold. So, um, but that being said, if he wrote with it holding the stainless steel section. That's a different story. That's not going to be covered under the same uh, antimicrobial aspects of the copper. So um, that's kind of the little caveat about this particular type of pen, other than it being, you know, solid copper. But we'll get into the reason why I feel that the section is better off being stainless steel, and that and that this combination works better uh, over the long run. I feel, in in particularly in the writing sample. So uh, we're looking at the medallion as well. We have the 1912, I'm just trying to get this to focus in here. Yeah, the 1912 Monte Grappa medallion. It looks really nice and handsome on top of that finial. And uh, also too, we were talking about the nib. The nib is a number five stainless steel Yovo nib, plastic feed. And it has that octagonally shaped sort of uh, Monte Grappa pattern that you see on the uh, box and other branding, logoing and whatnot. It does come with a screw-in style converter to start with, a Monte Grappa converter, which I filled up with Monte Grappa Turquoise. So we got that going on here. And like I said, it does also adapt to international size ink cartridges, which are also included there. So let's take a look now at the Mini Mule versus its bigger brother, the copper mule. So this was the original model, the the one on the top here, the the original mule, and then this is the mini mule. So you can see it's definitely it's definitely got a lot more girth. Uh, well, the mini mule has has less girth, uh, slightly less length, and definitely a lot less weight. So we'll go over. Let's talk about the dimensions of the mini mule. So mini mule length, and really this is not too, too bad. It's not like a pocket pen per se, but it uh, is about, let me just bring my measurements closer to me so I could read the dimensions. Uh, so the length capped is 5.08 inches or 129 millimeters. Then we have the length cap off is 4.72 inches or 120 millimeters. Then we have the length with the cap posted, which is 5.6 inches or 142 and a half millimeters. Then you have the diameter, the max diameter of the cap. I'm just talking about the cap diameter right here. So this is the thickest part of the pen is 0.51 inches or 13 millimeters. And the diameter of the section right at the middle we're talking nine millimeters or 0.35 inches. Now, the big, big, big difference, the tail of the tape as far as weight, and I'm noticing this when I'm holding both of them at the same time, is that the weight of the mini mule is one ounce, about 28 grams, while the weight of the standard mule 
is 1.8 ounces or 51 grams. So you're talking nearly double the weight of the mini mule in the standard mule. So for a lot of people, I mean, especially looking at a, a pen that's over 40 grams, that's a heavy pen. It is heavy. So you could take a look at it, seeing how it looks like in hand here. I do like the idea, Roy, that they could have called it the pony. But then again, it wouldn't it wouldn't relate to the whole alcohol uh, theme, I guess. But this is my best effort at doing. It is actually a copper felicita or felicita. It is it, well, essentially, this is the copper version of the Fortuna. This is the copper version of the felicita. So you have relatively the same. You know, we're talking the same lengths. Not too, not too much different in terms of length. Well, more, for, more so posted. You're talking maybe like another, I'm gonna say a third of an inch or so. But really, your your main dimensions to be focusing on is that girth and that weight, really, because it's not so much a pocket pen, but it definitely becomes more of a portable, more of a easy to wield pen, especially if you have smaller hands um, than the standard Fortuna mule would be. So, uh, and we're also looking at the, the, the standard mule has the number six size Yovo nib as opposed to the number five size, which is more of an aesthetic sort of thing. But this kind of fits more with the whole mini aspect being that's a, a nib size down. And uh, both of them include cartridge or converter. The uh, big difference also too is the price. I mean, it's not that big of a difference, but when you're talking the standard mule is $395 retail. The mini mule comes in at 350 retail. And both of them are on sale at goldspot.com right now if you want to check them out. Uh, we have them both in stock. And uh, they used to come with the copper mugs, um, but they don't make the copper mugs anymore with the recipe. So uh, when you buy them, this is what you get. You get a pen in a box. But hey, that's what you came for is a pen in a box. So Or a pen. You came for a pen. That's what you want. So, um, you know, we, we took a look at the sizing. We took a look at the stats in, in regards to the mini mule. So now we're going to take a look at the writing experience. So I'm going to clear all this stuff away, and we're going to show off what this number five Yovo stainless steel nib can do. And I got it in a fine. I filled it up with Monte Grappa turquoise. And you're going to have to pardon me as I put this a little bit closer here. And I will do a little bit of a writing sample. All right, we got the Monte Grappa. Mini Mule. Copper. Let's just do a little bit of a figure eight. Ink is Monte Grappa turquoise. which disappointingly seems more like an aqua. So let's call it aqua. But, uh, Cause it has more of like a greenish bluish color. So that's why I would say it's more like an aqua. So um, overall, I mean, as, as anybody has come to expect with Yovo nibs, they work nicely out of the box. This fine point has a nice even line, good flow. No scratchiness, no hard starts, no skipping. Is about pretty much like how you would expect a European fine style would be. 
Um, in terms of the balance, weight of the pen, it's got a significant weight, of course, because it is about an ounce, but like it's not too bad because of the sizing, the, the girth and everything. I just feel like I've got average hands um, and I feel as though it really does fit very nicely. Um, there's there's the, the even though it's metal, it has no like sharp edges like this. This edge is very nicely, softly rounded. And then and also the brushed quality makes it comfortable to have in hand. Um, the polishness, the, you know, the, the slick polishness is not evident in this part of the pen, which is the most important part because you want to be able to hold and grip it. So if it was all copper, then you would probably have the problem where your fingers would be slipping towards the nib because this is tapered down. So that's one of the things that you have to kind of think of when it comes to pen design is that, well, you know, it would look cooler probably and it would be more beneficial antimicrobially if everything especially the grip section was copper but hey it's about you know the writing experience it's about trying to give it so that people will want to write with this for a long time so i you know i can understand the sense of there being like a brushed section that's in stainless steel as opposed to copper because then people are going to write with it for a long amount of time so we'll do a little quick brown fox Do some reverse writing, underside here. It's possible. Upside down. But it's pretty scratchy. So this is a, like I said, it's a fine point. And, uh, you know, quite pleasant. And especially when you consider it being a full metal pen, it's definitely it's 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 adaptable to being able to write with long distances you know for long periods of time the fortuna mule being that it's over 50 grams it, it might be a little bit too heavy for some but this mini mule has got it where it counts and i mean for people who are at average or smaller hands that prefer a nice significant weighted instrument but don't want to get too heavy with the copper this is a good fit i like it a lot and uh, and I, the stainless steel nib, like as you see here, you know, performs great. No fuss, no muss. Does a good job at what it's supposed to do, which is write with ink. So uh, that is uh, that is the whole deal with the Monte Grappa Mini Mule. And uh, look, I would look forward to hearing your comments down below if you have any questions about the Mini Mule or uh, want to just give us a shout out or tell us uh, how we're doing and um, recommend any pens that you'd like to see unboxed in the future, just always feel free to message us and we'll be glad to uh, to oblige. So appreciate you guys tuning in. And, um, and also just as a side note that this is also available in a ballpoint or rollerball at Goldspot Pens and goldspot.com is where you want to go to. We have free shipping in within the USA and also free shipping offers to Canada and international so that uh, but they are of a higher uh, uh, price minimum so definitely check that out check the monte grappa mule out and i'll be seeing you guys around very soon so i appreciate you tuning for uh, i appreciate you guys for tuning in and staying